Okay, I'm going to show you here how to go from rotational speed to linear speed. Now the assumption is we're dealing with a wheel or a spool and there's no slippage. So imagine a wheel with good rubber tires, perfect traction. So as that wheel rotates, it does not slide along the ground. It just makes its way forward. To start you off, let's consider a problem where you've got five revolutions. So I'm not even into speed yet, just distance. A wheel rotates five times all the way around. So you have five revs. And let's say we have a radius of a tenth of a meter. So this is a wheel with a diameter of 20 centimeters, a radius of 10 centimeters. Our circumference is 2 times pi times the radius, where pi is 3.14159. So this is 2 times 3.14 times 0.1. So the circumference is 0 0.628. So that means if you have a wheel with a radius of 10 centimeters, the distance around that wheel is going to be 62.8 centimeters. Now, if you want to know the distance traveled, how far is this wheel going to travel? If it rotates five times and has a circumference of 0.628 meters, the distance traveled is going to be the number of revolutions multiplied by the circumference. So we're going to take our five revolutions and multiply it by 0 0.628. Because the, the distance around a wheel is what gets covered every time it rotates once. Three point one four meters. Okay, so if we have a wheel that rotates five revolutions, has a radius of point one centimeters, it's going to have a circumference of zero point six two eight meters. You multiply the circumference by the number of revolutions to get the distance traveled. And the distance that this travels is 3.14 meters. Now let's consider we have a wheel with a speed of 500 revolutions per minute. So that wheel is turning around and every minute it's gone 500 times around. And let's give this wheel a radius of 20 centimeters, or 0 0.2 meters. Let's find its speed in kilometers per hour. Okay, for those of you watching in the States, if you take kilometers per hour and then divide it by 1.6, that'll give you an answer in miles per hour if you want, like a, a reasonable reference to understand the problem. Okay, so we have a speed of 500 revolutions per minute and a radius of 20 centimeters. Our circumference is going to be 0.2 times 2 times 3.14. So our circumference is 1.256. So if you have a wheel with a radius of 20 centimeters, the distance around the wheel is 1.2 meters. That means every time that wheel rotates, it goes 1.2 meters forward. To find our speed, there's a little trick I like to do that will help you understand it. Instead of going straight to kilometers per hour, because we're given our 
our speed of rotation in revolutions per minute, we're going to find our speed in meters per minute, and then we're going to convert that to kilometers per hour. So the speed in meters per minute is going to be equal to the number of revolutions per minute multiplied by the number of meters per revolution. Well, how many meters do you go every time you revolve? That's exactly equal to your circumference. So if you take your revolutions per minute and multiply it by the circumference, that's going to give you your speed in meters per minute. So in this particular problem, I've got 500 revolutions per minute, and I'm going to multiply it by 1.256 meters per revolution. That's going to give me 628 meters per minute. And if I'm going 628 meters every minute, multiply that by 60, I'm going 37,680 meters per hour. And then if we divide that by 1,000, that's going to give us 37.68 kilometers per hour. So to recap, we take our speed in revolutions per minute, we calculate our circumference. If we multiply the two of them together, that will give us our speed, but you gotta be real careful about your units. That's gonna give you your speed in meters per minute. Whatever your speed is in meters per minute, if you multiply that by 60, so to get from here to here, I did times 60. You multiply that by 60, that'll give you your speed in meters per hour. Divide that by 1,000, that'll give you your speed in kilometers per hour.